Hi, Jessica here, and I am with PRT guru, uh, Peter Muller, and today we're going to talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of PRT. Now, Peter, I'm used to hearing a lot of the advantages of PRT, but what are some of the disadvantages? Well, probably the biggest one is just the fact that in order to build a PRT system, you need a lot of infrastructure. You have to build a guideway, you have to build stations, and so on. And all of that costs a lot of money, so you need capital in order to build a PRT system. And the costs are quite significant. They can cost in the order of 10 to up to maybe $30 million per one-way mile for all that infrastructure. And how does that compare to, say, like buses or light rail? Well, buses are a lot less expensive because uh, people who build bus systems typically don't have to also build the roads they ride on. They just take for granted that that road space is there, although, in fact, buses do have an impact on the road space. So to build a bus system, you're just buying some buses and putting in some bus stops. It's quite inexpensive. People prefer light rail, but it's much more expensive. And, and light rail costs are typically a lot higher than PRT costs, although a PRT system that's mostly elevated will cost about the same as a light rail system that's mostly at grade. Hmm. So what would you say the next, next biggest disadvantage is? Well, um, it's probably the fact that most people, and I, I'm not just members of the public, but, but politicians, city officials, and, and even transit consultants, don't fully understand PRT. Hmm. Why is that a problem? Well, when people don't understand things, then they, they dismiss them. And, and uh, sometimes they dismiss them just because they don't know about them. But even worse is, often they dismiss them from consideration for the wrong reasons. So they have bad information about PRT, or they misunderstand its capacity, which is a complex issue. And so they, they don't consider it in, in thinking about different ways of doing things. So is there anything about PRT that actually bothers a lot of people? Sure, a lot of people are concerned about the visual intrusion of overhead guideways. And I have to agree, I would not want an overhead guideway looking over my front yard or, or my backyard. Um, that's not a very pleasant thing. So it's a legitimate concern that we need to address and needs to be mitigated somehow. Um, if you look at these pictures, you can see that some guideways, like the, the one in the first picture, are really quite obtrusive. That's really noticeable. It's hard to, to avoid seeing it. On the other hand, in the second picture, we have a guideway that's been blended in quite well with the surroundings. And I think that would be an acceptable looking application, at least to me. Now, there would still be issues that you would need to concern yourself with. For example, what's the situation with those vehicles going by open windows and so on? Um, how do you deal with that? And there are ways that you can deal with those things. Mm -hmm. So tell me about some of the advantages of PRT. Well, I think the biggest advantage of PRT is it's not just another widget. It's not just a, a Segway or an electric bicycle or even an, an electric car. It's a whole system. Um, so other, most other solutions just nibble away at various aspects of the transportation problem. For example, electric cars um, nibble away at, at the use of energy and at pollution. But they don't address things like congestion. Conventional transit buses, trains, and so on, just don't work, especially in the US. They do not attract riders. There, there are only a few cities that have really high transit ridership. Most others don't. So PRT is a new system that can systematically address many of the issues that we have with transportation today. And can PRT really do that? Can they really pull drivers away from their cars? Well, that's one of the big things. In order to have a good transportation solution, it not only has to solve the problems, but it has to receive significant drivers and, I mean riders, and pull drivers out of their cars. And yes, I believe PRT can do that, and there are a number of studies that show that it can do that, mainly because of the high level of service that it offers. Can you imagine a transit system where you don't have to wait? That takes you where you want to go without stopping? And where you always get a seat? Would you use that? Yeah, I, just, I don't know why we don't have it already. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, I agree. So there's definitely advantages and disadvantages. So how do people really make up their minds about that? 
Well, I think it's very important that people weigh those advantages and disadvantages and decide for themselves. I think it's important that the communities decide, the people who are going to use the systems decide, more than the politicians and even the transport consultants decide. We need the people to decide. We've developed a community outreach or participation program that helps people figure out what they really want by considering the basic characteristics of what different solutions offer. We found that people seem to want a reliable transit system that's low cost, has short walking distances and wait times, and it has no transfers. Hmm. All right, well, that's all for now. You can find more information at prtconsulting.com and you can always follow Peter's tweets on Twitter at PRT Guru. And next time we will talk about the sustainability of PRT. So long.